And in your report, Glenn, you were intimating that Brexit has had an impact on just about all the political parties. The SNP certainly has uh, members who are pro-Brexit, a former cabinet minister, Alec Neil, former uh, deputy leader of the party, Jim Sillers, and it is said around a third of supporters of that party voted for Brexit. They've stayed uh, by and large together in the lines that the party has chosen to take uh, throughout the Brexit process. The tensions within the SNP tend to be more around the tactics towards a second independence referendum, with some now questioning whether the leadership have enough commitment to push for that second independence referendum in the near future. Glenn Campbell at Westminster, thank you. Scotland's councils should rule out the introduction of a workplace parking levy, according to a leading trade union. MSPs have opened an inquiry into how the Scottish government investigated complaints of harassment launched by civil servants against the former First Minister Alex Salmond. But there was controversy over the appointment of an SNP member to chair the committee. Holyrood rules mean it's the SNP's turn to chair a committee and Linda Fabiani, a former SNP minister sacked by Alex Salmond, was duly nominated. But not without objections from opposition MSPs who said it wasn't appropriate. If ever there was a moment for justice to be done and for justice to be seen to be done, then this is it. The question of perception is all in politics and the perception um, unfortunately is that the party of government is actually appointing the convener of this committee and I think that would be unfortunate.